Hey everyone, welcome back to more of a big hunk of Hyrule. And we're gonna start off level 7, which is a kind of a big maze of sorts. You'll notice that there are no <clears throat> uh, no uh, doors, so I'm not sure how many hidden walls are in here, if there are any, but uh, basically you better bring a lot of bombs with you. Cause you're gonna need them. <clears throat> and a lot of these guys to deal with. Uh, luckily the item you get in here is good for countering these guys. Cause these guys are rather annoying in large bunches. The item you get sort of helps to even up, even up the odds a little bit. Oh man, if I'm having this much trouble just in the first room, um, this is uh, not going to fare well. <clears throat> yeah, uh, this can get kind of ugly fast. Hopefully you can get enough refills to outpace your damage, which, uh, luckily, I'm getting enough refills. Got a lot of fairies that, you know, last few moments there. Again, the item you get in this level is kind of helpful. I wouldn't call arrows the most reliable thing to use. Now you notice you're getting a lot of bombs, uh, and there is an obvious reason for this. <clears throat> Although when you have the dongles in this room, uh, always a good source of free refills. Yeah, pretty much you'll be bombing nearly every wall you can find. Find a few of these Gleox lying around the place. So you may have to a bit of work on this one. Uh, but you really want to take out those guys because yeah, you just got you just get meat right there. <clears throat> uh, and you are going to need that, obviously. Yeah, this thing get kind of annoying really fast. Still, this is not really that difficult compared to what's coming up. Uh, it gets much worse later on. Uh, the next level. And can you get a lot of bombs in this place? Now this room, if you have sword beams, that's great. Otherwise, you're gonna have to either use arrows or, um, again, wait till you get the item at this level, which... Because when you get the item at this level, it actually uh, helps out with this. Again, you can pretty much bomb everywhere, so I don't think there are any hidden walls in this place. <clears throat> okay, this next room to the left is, I believe, completely optional, and honestly, I'm not even sure if I would recommend doing this. Unless you feel particularly suicidal to do this. Uh, 
and I mean, all you get is the map for this. <laughs> I don't know how helpful that is, honestly. <clears throat> and luckily, I think that's the only such room in this level, I think. But that's kind of just a taste of what you're gonna get in the next level. Uh, that's when the fun kind of really starts beginning, and it, believe me, you are not going to like it. Like, once you see it. I'm just getting a lot of, uh, money that I don't need right now. Uh, I better find some refills fast, because I don't think there's a fairy fountain outside. Not that I remember. Yeah, this is, a uh, not looking too good. Okay, got some refills. is down. And this just takes you back uh, to another room we were already in, so uh, I guess I can show you it. I'm not looking forward to the next level, honestly. I really am not looking forward to it. So this is, this level just kind of, uh, I'm not sure if this will be shaped like anything. <clears throat> but kind of your objective is to work around the four corners of this place. I mean, those Dodongos do come back in eventually, so uh, kind of use them for bomb refills. But again, pretty much a lot of these rooms drop uh, free bombs for you, so you shouldn't really worry about running out of bombs. <clears throat> and this one even gives you free bombs. Yeah, you figure you're gonna need a lot of bombs. And that's the hint for that other maze I already solved. You know, you just go east in that one room just outside the level just to get the, uh, find a way to the magic sword. <laughs> Here we have... Oh, yeah, this is gonna be fun, huh? Can't find any refills I can get. Help outpace the damage. Again, really helps if you get the magic sword. stuff a little more doable. Oh, 
Alright, here we get the magic rod. <clears throat> it's kind of helpful against those, uh... Uh, land molas. Now you don't have to waste arrows, you can just, uh... Fire your, fire your, uh... Your magic wand. Which doubles, uh... Close and long range weapon. <clears throat> I mean, sure, it only has white sword strength, but that's all you really need. And, you know, I might actually need to pick up some bombs, because I'm not sure how many more I need. Uh, you're gonna need a lot of these. <clears throat> I'm trying to see if, uh, if I even have enough bombs to get through this. You know, I'm just gonna pick up some of them. Uh, I should have enough now. And you got a single bat there, I'm not sure why. Okay, I think to the right is the main route, but we can't do anything with that yet. So you're gonna be going through kind of a series of these kind of... <clears throat> fake walls. So you're just gonna be stumbling your way through these rooms. Here's where the map, I guess, is sort of useful. Kinda give you a sense of, uh, where you should be able to go. So you kind of rapid fire with the magic wand. <clears throat> Again, it doubles up as a melee and a distance weapon. Yeah, you're gonna need a lot of bombs, and I think I'm actually lucky I picked up those bombs because I don't think I would have had enough. <clears throat> uh, you, you can go up, but there's nothing you can do about that yet. So we'll be back there in just a little bit. You're gonna need meat for this room, but yeah, as you notice, we have no meat. <clears throat> but there is a room you haven't explored on the left yet, so that's worth taking a look at. And here you got another Leoc. So, same thing, just try to just tank out. Ooh, fairy. Even better. It's kind of funny, you know, you defeat the Gliak and it drops meat. I don't know if that's supposed to be like its remains or something. <clears throat> well, we're gonna use, uh, use up our meat we just found. Okay, this room has, oh, great, a bunch of wizard robes. Now, at least there's water, so that actually might help a little bit. Because that, you know, the water kind of helps for some shelter. Now, I don't know how many blue wizard robes were there, but there was probably more than one. And so we finally pick up the power bracelet. Yeah, it's uh, this late in the game. And in the upcoming parts, you'll see exactly why it's so late in the game.
Okay, now we can go up to this room that we kind of ignored uh, just a bit ago. Okay, you can kind of just rapid fire the magic wand and it kind of does a pretty decent job protecting you. And you need your power bracelet to pick up the key there. Now, I'm not sure how many more bombs I need. Or if I need any more. Well, I guess I might as well pick these up. At least give myself some bombs to work with. And no, this room is not a dead end. You know, you realize why that space is to the right there. Just enough space to fit the... the stairs. Not that you only need to take it out, but extra money never hurts. Kind of curious, it's just orange gomas. I'm not complaining though. <clears throat> Whatever makes things a little easier to navigate through. So pretty much you're gonna be making your way around the corners of the map now. Now I'm not sure about the point of this room, it may just be a re recharge room for you. Because those dark nuts can't reach you. Probably just free refills. You're working way, your way around the corners of the of the map. And this room you would suspect has something in it. So it's time to start uh, looking around the place. Eventually, you will find some stairs. Luckily, no nothing too tricky. Okay, that's just kind of a bastard position to spawn out. Oh, at least I get my hearts back. Not that it's that difficult to battle, since it's, a uh, just a single Goma. It's not too big an issue. Alrighty, you know, actually there's some spare bombs. Those land molas probably respawned, at least when you exit the level. A lot of loot dropping. I might as well pick up these bombs that uh, pretty much drop for free. And look at all those hearts dropping. So, 
you know, potentially you can get a lot of refills from these guys. Uh, again, Magic Rod's very nice. It's actually even better when you double it up with the Magic Book. Because then you can, you know, get the Magic Wand hit, and then you'll get any hits from, like, fire. And the dongles are always a good source of bombs. Obviously, it's a lot easier to smoke them out when you have two bombs versus one. Because one bomb, you have to hope they just run into it, but you can turn away at the last second rather than, you know, use two bombs and, you know, the first one will stun them and then the second one will, uh, enable you to... knock them out, or, you know, freeze it, and then you can smoke it out for extra bombs. Now, there is something on this screen. Uh, you push, uh, this rock, and really all it gives you is more bombs. And I know this is not a bomb upgrade to my knowledge, I think it's just four bombs. Not sure how helpful that is, but, anyway. Okay, so, uh, next part, we're probably just going to do more scouting, um, go on our way to level 8. And we'll, you know, finally put this power bracelet to use. Alright, see you guys later.